Welcome to a video about importing tournament players from an Excel spreadsheet into the tournament pairing program. Before we begin, there's a few files that you're going to need to obtain from the Carolina's Gym Support Department before you can uh, begin this process. The first one is an Excel spreadsheet that we've designed called TBP Client Outing Four Person Team or Pairing Group Blank. And what that looks like is a spreadsheet that has a bunch of columns that you would ask. Um, you would send to an outside group to fill out and then send back to you. You can see the various columns here. And the only ones that are required in order to be brought into um, the event are first name, last name, and gender, which would be an M or an F that you would type in there. And what's nice too is if you put in GIN number, then you can run an inquiry once you bring them into the program. Um, some other ones we have here are email address, index, club name, city, and state. So the instructions that you want to send to a club is you want them to ask them to fill it out with at a minimum first name, last name, and gender. And if they have uh, <coughs> blank players here, you when you get it back, you want to type in TBD or blank player. And we'll take a look now at what a sample spreadsheet would look like once they send it back to you. And you can see here I have full groups of four players in each area with an M for their gender, an index, and their club name. And you want to make sure that you ask them not to delete any of the unused columns. You want to keep all these columns in existence when you bring it into the program so it's going to match up. <clears throat> so now here are the steps you do once you receive this spreadsheet back in order to import into TPP. If you have any unused player rows down here, you're going to delete all of them, but we've used all of them in this spreadsheet, so we're going to not have to change that. So step number one is now deleting the header row, because we do not want that imported into TPP. And then going to File and saving it as a CSV format, which is comma delimited. And I'm going to save that onto my desktop so I know where it is. And click on Save. And say Yes. And now you need to make sure that you close the file before you try and import it into TPP. So we're going to close it. It's going to prompt us to save it again. And I'm just going to close the blank spreadsheet. The second file that you need before you can import it into TPP is going to be found uh, in your C drive on your computer. And again, if you don't have this file, contact Carolina's Gin Support to get it. And it's located in the Gin folder, the 2004 folder, the TBP folder, and the Player Import folder. And the file that you want to look for is Outing Four Person Team or Pairing Group. And the way that you know if you have that in there correctly is now when we go into the event that we've set up in order to import our players, when you go to Players, and import tournament players, you'll have a format there called outing four person team or pairing group. Now that's matched up to exactly bring in the columns that we designed in that Excel spreadsheet. So you want to make sure that again you ask the people that you sent it to to not delete any columns that they don't use to keep them all intact and you'll take care of it. Um, so what we do is we select the outing four person team or pairing group file format click on this box with three dots here browse to our desktop and now here's that CSV file that I saved and click on open and now all I have to do <coughs> excuse me is click on OK and it's brought in my 132 players from that comma uh, delimited file to view that it was brought in correctly I'm gonna go to players and tournament player management now you can see it brought everybody in with their first name, last name, index, and club name, just like we had on that spreadsheet, as well as their gender. And the cool thing that the entry number field does is it already brought them in as foursomes. So here's my first group of four players from the spreadsheet. And now if I go to pairings and create show play pairings, I'll just choose entry number as my pairing method and do four players per group 
and now I have my 33 pairing groups from that spreadsheet. And here you can see them with their entry number. They all had the same entry number for each group, and it easily and quickly made 33 foursomes for me based on that spreadsheet. Any questions about this, again, give us a call at the Carolina's Gin Support Department, and we'd be happy to help. Thank you.